Jana Potkivanok, CS Doc, Udvijelek, Shopron. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me and welcome to Shopron. This city is in northwest Hungary. It's a very beautiful, attractive, historic city. And what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to go and explore what's left of the old city walls. So where I'm currently walking, I'm outside the old city, but we're going to go and find them now. It's not quite like York in the UK or Chester where you walk around the top of the city walls. The city walls are hidden behind buildings, but there's quite a lot of them. You've just got to really look for them. So this city dates back to Roman times. Then it was called Sabantica, but the Romans eventually deserted the city. In the ninth, between the 9th and the 11th century, the Hungarians arrived and they began to build the city up. They began to fortify it. Now, see this rather communist looking building here. It's through here when we find the city walls, or our first glimpse of the city walls. Doesn't look very exciting, you know, just a few dustbins. When we go through here, and here we are. Here are some of the city walls. Now, this walk's going to get quite exciting because, um, as I said, it's, they're hidden behind buildings, so we've kind of got to look for them. So, these city walls are what the Hungarians would have built up. So, like I say, they date back between the 9th and the 11th century down here and see if we can go kind of into them. I think we will be able to go up on top of them some of the time um, but as, as I say we are kind of behind around the back of buildings. There's a, a doorway here. It's not like it goes anywhere. It's just going anyway and it kind of goes through to another doorway um, and I appreciate you now can't see a lot and that door's locked. So let's go back out because it's a bit pointless being in the dark, but at the same time quite exciting you can go in there. So let's go around and go on top of the city wall. So a little bit more history. Um, there was that period of Hungary where the Ottomans took over most of Hungary. Well, they ravaged the city, but they didn't take it over. So what happened was a lot of Hungarians began to flee here and they would sort of hide out and live here and its importance grew. It's um, quite interesting because there's basically this map. We're going to follow this yellow line around and follow the city walls. And it tells you a bit about them. So this is the Bailey Promenade. So you can see it's quite fortified part of the city. If we go up here, so the city walls, they do lock them at night, but they lock them about nine o'clock in the summer. And um, it's about quarter to eight. So we should get around this, get up these steps through here and uh, we'll be up on the city walls in a moment so like I say it's not quite like York when you think of a city wall walk it's a sort of area of public land between two buildings and then there's various random gates going off that are locked up probably because they're people's houses behind them but here we are we're up in one of the towers if you look through there you'll be able to see where we were a moment ago so quite exciting that is supposed to be one of the oldest apartment blocks in Chopron, which was cut right through the city walls, which is a bit of a shame. There's not much more down there other than this other tower. Um, I won't go down there because we've got quite a lot of other bits of city walls to get through. It's a bit weird you've got this bit of concrete brutalism. And then you've also got against the old city walls. So we're going to go down here. It also involves walking through lots of other odd buildings and through almost like through people's gardens, it's a bit of a mess, all this graffiti through little random courtyards. It's quite an exciting walk. So we come to here and we're, as I say, we're in a courtyard. Um, we're going to go through, that way will take us into the narrow streets of the old city, which we'll do more of, or we'll do some of that later, just walking through some more courtyards. There's lots of Baroque Austro-Hungarian buildings in this city. It's a really beautiful city. The other thing the city is quite well known for is the Shoproni Schur or Shoproni beer. If you've ever been to Hungary and you've had a beer, you've probably had that beer. It's a very nice beer. Oh, look, nothing to do with the video at all, but I always like to see them. There's a Laden Eva. I think they're the best 4x4 ever, or if, if that one, the best cars ever. Laden Eva, quite a new one that is. Anyway, back to um, more ancient history rather than more modern history let's go and find the city walls again and here we have probably the most obvious part of city walls the bit that people 
always do see. It's a bit here. In fact, where we're in that courtyard, I think if we'd gone down, we could have come down those steps, come to here. This is a really big, big round tower. But if we go down here, my plan is to sort of find our way around the back of the building. So you get a good idea here. Like this is one of the main streets outside the city walks. It's um, and out here the streets are a lot wider, a lot more space. There's lots of nice restaurants and places to get ice creams down there. But we go down here, it's um, going to be completely different. There's, there's a lot of churches in the city. That one possibly is a monastery. I'm sure one of them is, but I'm not entirely sure which one. Possibly that one. So we come down here. Um, so where are we now? So this is still the Bailey Promenade. So like I said, there was that huge tower behind us. It's possibly the biggest tower I've ever seen on a city wall. There's a little bit here. They've kind of put these strange concrete sort of pits against it. I don't know if I overly really like out of them but I'm not going to because it's pretty a bit dirty behind there but yeah look at that that's weird um anyway let's follow continue to follow them so they disappear behind this house but I'm fairly confident we can follow them I'm just going to keep going really following this is where it's going to get exciting we're going to start walking through backyards and through restaurants and all sorts it gets really odd so we've got up here and um I think I'm about to walk through a restaurant where people are eating their evening meals as you can see I quite literally am. Go through here. Um, come up here. There's like another little courtyard. So, that looks nice. All those plants growing. Here we have another gate, but I think this has been rebuilt. You can see we're crossing like an old, well, it's, it's a modern old drawbridge. This is clearly not original. I quite like it. So, if we go into here, oh, yeah, look, you can see that's an old tower. Um, now if we go up here, I think we'll be up on the city walls again. I also want to do some more down on the city walls again. So yeah, look, we're up here on the city wall, but they've actually built buildings against the city wall. So when we go down there, we won't be able to see this bit. But if we step into this, into this little tower here and have a look out the window, you can see we're going to walk along there next and we will be able to see it but first talking of the old city we go to the end here we can have a look at some old ruins dating back I'm, I'm not going to put a date on them but some old ruins and you can clearly see the city wall goes around there so we're going to go back down we're going to walk around there and keep going that by the way is the fire tower more of that later but that is the tower going back to the Shoproni beer which I mentioned that beer is on, or that tower rather, is on the beer. It's, it's kind of like the symbol of the city. So, line of the city wall. We've got to go back through this strangely modernised bit or rebuilt bit to continue. We're going to walk through some more courtyards and through some odd residential bits, um, which is kind of exciting because if I didn't know about the city wall, I probably wouldn't come into this little courtyard. Because I wouldn't be sure if they're private or not, because I know I can walk all the way along here. So we come through here, and ahead of us, so that will take us back out onto that main street again. What we're going to do is we're going to go down here now. This is looking quite exciting. So we go down here. It says do not enter there, because that goes into flats. That's perfectly understandable. If we come down here, we go under here. Oh, look. There's, um, don't disturb them too much, but look. Look at those uh, cute little kittens that sleep there. Moch uh, Mochka, that is a cat. Chitza is a kitten, so look at them, they're asleep. I don't want to disturb them, but they're so cute. Anyway, um, let's go round up here. So, yeah, uh, oh look, there's a bit of old city wall there, hiding in amongst these houses. Go round here now. Um, yeah, so, okay. Am I now walking through someone's, I think I'm like literally walking through someone's back garden um, and I've just walked into another restaurant so there's people eating food there and we come down and here we are, quite obviously the city walls. A moment ago we were up there in that window so it gives you an idea of where we've just been so we're going to continue to follow these very obvious city walls around here and um, it's I just like how it's so hidden. I've been staying in this city now for three days and it's, it's only taken me this afternoon when I discovered there's 
this hidden world of city walls. And that is like the narrowest building ever. There's actually a balcony. How do you get onto that balcony? It's so narrow. That's weird. Um, oh, I see. It's like a stairwell tower. And um, oh, the stairs go like that. Still don't quite get it, but yeah. Interesting buildings. Right, where are we now? So we, we're down, those ruins I showed you are behind this part of the wall. There's a more modern, if you sort of think this is the ancient level of the ground, that's the modern level of the ground. So these buildings were sort of down at basement level. So the first floor from the street would be up there where those windows are, which um, you can clearly see by the level of that modern bridge. As for those ruins I showed you, we're now down at the level of those ruins. What I'll do, if I stick the camera through the, through here, he'll be able to have a look. And then um, bring the camera back. Now, there's like an outer and inner walls here. The outer walls are rather ruined. Um, I'm gonna step over them and under this bridge and uh, follow this cobbled street. And in a minute, we'll come to the fire tower. So the fire tower is the tower you see on the shop only beers. Now, I never quite get the exact um, what its job is. I understand that the city at one point did burn to the ground. And when they rebuilt the city, they built a fire tower. And the idea of the fire tower is there were watchmen up the tower, up, up there, and they would look out. If there was a fire, they could direct the firemen where to go. I went up there the other day. You can go up to that level there. It's great, you get brilliant views. And then when I came back down to the ground, I had, you've guessed it, a pint of Shoproni. So, yes, that is the effectively the northern gate. Now, the city walls have been sort of obli obliterated here. I think that slab of concrete is to show you that was the walls. Um, it's going to get even more kind of strange now to walk. But what we're first going to do, we're going to walk underneath the fire tower into one of the main squares, just to let you see the classic part of Chopron. I think what we're going through here is called the Fur Tier, which I understand means the main square. So we're right in the old city centre. So there's the tower above us. Lots of places you can, um, you know, have, have meals here as well. Beautiful old church there. If you visit Chopron and you're not sure what to do, there's a tourist information centre in that building. That's, so, you know, you can go there. So this is, now we're in the main square of Shop Rom, and it's beautiful. The third tier, look at that. The tower, it's an amazing sight. But we've got to continue following these walls. Now these walls, they go behind those buildings there. So we've got to go and look for them. Now, it took me a few goes at finding them. I missed them the first time completely. So, um, have a look at that. So, like I say, this was also the northern gate of the city. So, what we're going to do, we'll go through here. Um, sorry, the reason I had to rush that bit there was there was some music playing in that restaurant. And um, you may or may not know, but when you're making videos for YouTube, you've got to be very careful. Sometimes music gets in the back of your video and you get into trouble for copyright reasons. So, that's why I rushed that bit. So, apologies. I think this arch here is um, showing where the wall would have been. So we go through, so let's actually come out of the city. Well, let's go through here now. So it says, yeah, Bailey Promenade, so that's like basically following the wall. So, it's got really quiet now. Feels like a bit of a ghost city. There's just like no one about. You know, it was all people eating food, listening to music. It was quite lively around there now. It's just like dead. I'm the only one, yeah. There's the city tower there, the fire tower rather. If you go and visit the fire tower, you can also go in there and see lots of um, historic stones which they found around the city. So that's, it's worth going to see that. Now, if you're following this, so as I said, it's completely different to sort of York or Chester. York or Chester, they kind of go up in the trees. Well, we're kind of down in the trees um, with the odd tower now and then. So it's pretty private what's on that side of the tower but it's fascinating to follow look at this i think we're about to walk through another restaurant now i've left this restaurant open but it's got all, all of its tables out so you can actually sit here look 
and have a meal again if it's open against the backdrop of the city wall and of course have a pint of shop prony um, which it says although the camera's not being out it clearly says it does say shop prony on that umbrella so um yeah it'd be quite nice to i'll probably yeah there you are look shop prony i might have to have a pint of that when i'm finished the wall continues in front of us and then eventually it, it will eventually come to an abrupt end at the other end there's not a lot left of the wall but so far we've done quite well we've seen quite a lot of the walls the last time i did a video with some hungarian city walls completely the other side of hungary i was in page which is hungary's fifth largest city and i did a video there where i went into one of the old baileys and um, we climbed up to the top so if you're interested have a look at the link on screen now be able to see that video we're going to continue along here it says Attila Eritrem which means restaurant there actually says restaurant as well because we're surrounded by Austria there's a lot of most signs written in German as well no, look, the footpath gets really narrow here so you go here I don't think many people do this part of the wall walk every you see everyone looking at it on the busier side of the city and taking pictures but I don't think so many people come around here to see this part of the walls and um, some really go out of found it so to give you an idea we started around there we've been all the way around there that's the fire tower we're now here so we've got one last long straight to go and that makes it sound like a racetrack but um, we've effectively circumnavigated the old part of the city we've weaved in and out a bit so here we get to another one of these little gateways um, so yeah, it does say April to September, open from nine, nine o'clock to nine o'clock. Um, so yeah, I haven't got a rush. I've still got a fair bit of time. Can we go down this passageway now? Interestingly, if you have a look here, it looks like there's been something built out against it. See these sort of apertures in the wall along here? So whether there's a floor about where my head is, I'm not too sure. Um, this building looks a bit abandoned. And then as we continue on, see, look, this is quite interesting. There's that tower. Someone's effectively built into the tower. So whether that's now part of someone's house, I'm not too sure. And we're kind of behind other people's houses and flats on what it really is a nice, good, pleasant, quiet area. So like I say, if you live there, you look out at the old city walls, which um, no one really knows about. Or at least they don't know too much about this side. There's benches there facing each other. It's like they're on a train, you don't often see benches like that, unless you're on a train. Anyway, and here we have the back of some more more flats with a Christmas tree growing. Now I wonder if that's someone's Christmas tree one year and they've just planted it. There seems to be a bit of a section of the walls missing here, but then look, they start again there. In fact, I think we've come to the end. Um, I think what I'll do, because we're coming to the end, I'll go in and finish inside the city walls. It sort of seems appropriate to start it outside. So I finish inside. So effectively, we have now done the city walls. There might be, there are, yeah, there are a couple of other odd fragments of the walls, but I understand they're to be in private kind of courtyard, so we can't actually go and see them. So we won't do that. So we've pretty much come to the end, come out here by church. And finish in one of the beautiful narrow streets in Chopron. So it really is a, a really nice city. I've made a few other videos while I was here. The other video I made, I went to a model village just um, on the edge of the city and there was certainly a model of the fire tower there. I think there was a model of that big church we saw and that was currently free to visit because the model trains weren't working. Um, but if you're interested in that video, have a look at link on screen now. That's Chopron in miniature and now here we are. I'm the little person in the big city. Well, look at that tower. Reminds me of Kew Bridge Steam Museum in London to look at, but it's not a steam museum, it is a church. That there is called Templon Utska, Utsa Street. And I think you probably get, um, Templon is church. There you go, there's the church. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment and from the beautiful city of Chopron in northwest Hungary, goodbye. Visons Atasha.